oh, what a lesson we learn when first we learn to deceive. I learned this very early. As a child, I told a lot of lies. I stole little pennies from my mother's little chain box. And then when my mother did find out, and she would ask me if I had, I'd clearly say, no, it was not me. It could be my brother, or it could be my sister. Well, my mother was not one to sit down with us and give us long lectures. So she gave me a little book written by Mahatma Gandhi on his experience with truth. And in this book, it was, it, somebody had described what Mahatma Gandhi had said to a child, one of his grandchildren. And I exactly don't remember the words now, but I remember one thing. It made a great impression on me. And after that, for some reason, I started reading books on Mahatma Gandhi because uncle used to bring from South Africa little booklets that were printed in the Mahatma Gandhi ashram there in Durban. And some of it at that time I didn't even understand. But there was something sacred in those books that impressed me, and that was truth, how important it was to say, speak the truth, and if you spoke the truth, definitely the matter ended, so was solved, and you could go on with your life, and other people could go on with their life, and how precious it was to live by truth. Another word that always came up was Emsha, and in the Kita, my mother always explained it meant non-violence. But as I found out later, it was according to Mahatma's philosophy, not man, it was love. Love and truth can conquer all in the world. And this is what I learned at a very early age from the readings of Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi, Mohinder K. Gandhi was accused of being inconsistent. Inconsistent. Truth, Gandhi said, is always changing. And if I hold on to what I said earlier, it would be wrong. My perception or understanding of a situation must be based on truth as it appears to me today. World changes, things change. What is right for one person may not be good for another person. We each have to see the situation before we, we decide. His philosophy is based on love, respect, understanding, acceptance, and compassion. These positive attributes are relevant. He experimented with truth. As uh, now, mind, I'm not saying he practiced truth. He experimented with truth throughout his life. As a humble person, he saw his words of the past were outdated to a new situation. He would say, it is wrong and why? He pursued truth, not possessed it. Many people today say their truth is the right truth. They don't pursue truth, but it is their truth and what is in their head. Pursuit of truth requires one to be honest, humble, open in mind and spirit, willing to listen and evaluate a situation impartially. Gandhi's way of pursuing truth led to a culture of non-violence. Possession of truth leads to a closed mind and spirit that leads to a culture of violence. Ahimsa is the Bhagavad Gita Gandhi describes as love. Love, truth were his main path. Ahimsa, many Hindus even now will explain it to you as non-violence, but it's non-violence based on love. Every action of yours should have a clear understanding with love and compassion. 
Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi was born at a little seaport town on the coast of Kathiawa called Port Pandar in the year 1869. His father had been a prime minister of the state and this office was made hereditary for some generations past. So when his father became prime minister at the, in the state of Kathwara, for some reason he was this, uh, he was he had to retire from there and he moved to another state as prime minister but here he saluted with the right hand because in his old state he had saluted always his leader with the left hand he was always faithful to even till the end faithful to his old state where his family for generations had served Mahatma Gandhi grew up in a very strict character building community at home. The family influence was great on him. His father died quite early, but his mother was very religious, very sound and behave a chain. And she grew up. She was a great influence on Mahatma Gandhi. His mother died when he was in England. It left a big, big hole in his life, and he was very sad to have a, that sadness stayed with him. Always, whenever he talked about his mother, you could see the love the son had for his mother. At the age of 13, he got married. He was married. When he, before he left for England, he already had a child, a son. And his mother made him promise that he would be faithful to his faith, faithful to his family and his wife. And this promise he kept when he went to England. He was very influenced with the Western way of dress and lifestyle, and he did mingle, but he never forgot his promise to his mother. One thing that really pained him was the way he treated his wife as a young lad when he was 13, little did he know. And this is one reason why uh, later on, he was very much against child marriage. Because as a youth, as a young man of 13, he had no respect for his wife. He would fight with her, he would hit her. And this he regretted afterwards in his life. So truth is love. Love is truth. Thank you.